Hi, I'm Alistair Chapman and in this video I'm going to take a look at what I think is a really exciting and quite unique feature that this camera here has, Sony's new FX6 camcorder. So what is this feature? Well, it's the ability to add a user LUT into the camera, but the way the camera applies these LUTs is really quite unique. Now, for a long time, we've been able to add a LUT into cameras like Sony's FX9 or F5, F55, and use that LUT, that lookup table, to give us a creative look in the viewfinder when we're shooting with log or shooting with raw. And that's great if that is your workflow. If you're going to take your footage into post-production and then grade it, you can add the LUT in post-production to give you the look that you had in the viewfinder. Now, the other way you can use a LUT when you're shooting log or raw is to what we call bake the look in. And when you do that, you add the LUT to the camera when it's set to its log or raw mode, but you turn the LUT on so that it's applied to the recording and that's what you record. So you're not recording log anymore, you're now recording your LUT and that workflow works as well. Now the FX6 has a really interesting variation on baking in the LUT that I've not seen in any other camera. So the FX6 has two operating modes. So let's just have a look at the output of the FX6. So this is the FX6. And you can see at the moment that we're in the, what is called custom mode where the uh, camera is set to S Cinetone. Now S Cinetone uh, produces some really beautiful images. But if I go here and we go to page four, you can see we have these two shooting modes. We have the custom mode and Cine EI mode. Now in Cine EI mode, this is where you would normally use lookup tables and things like that, recording log or recording raw, and, and that's where they'd be used. But we can use lookup tables in custom mode in the FX6, and that's where it gets really interesting. So if I come out of the, uh, what's called the status pages on the FX9 or status menu, and I press and hold the menu button on the side of the camera and go into our main settings, our main menus, and we go to the paint and look settings, you'll see that the FX6 has a number of scene files. So if I go to recall here, you'll see that we can recall S Cinetone, standard, still, and ITU 709. Now, if the camera's in the HDR mode, there's two more that you'll see. One is HDR live, and then number two becomes HDR natural. So we have six different looks built into the camera, but we can change and adjust these looks. Um, so let's just, uh, I'm just gonna start with this one here. I'm gonna re recall ITU 709. So this is um, the 709 look now, camera looks a little bit different, so that's 709. Uh, it's quite a bit redder. The skin tones are quite uh, quite rosy and red. That's very typical of Sony's uh, default look. If I go back up here, recall S Cinetone, you'll see that it's less red. The skin the skin tones look much more natural and things like that. Now, how do we use a LUT? Okay, so what we do is we go down here to base look, and if we go into base look you'll see we have the option to select, delete, um, delete all or import. Now, if we go down to import and we hit select, you can see that there are a number of memories for LUTs in here. We can actually load 16 different LUTs into the camera. So first thing you do is you choose an empty slot, one you haven't used. So in this case, it's, I'm gonna use number one, there's nothing in here, hit select. Now on the SD card that I've got in the B slot of the camera, now it's really important that the, the LUTs can only be loaded from the B slot. So what I did was I formatted my card in the camera in the B slot. And when you format the card in the B slot, it creates a folder structure on the card. And if you drill down to that folder structure, you'll find a folder called LUT and that's where you put your cube LUTs. So these are ordinary 17 times or 33 times cube LUTs. You can generate them in Resolve or Adobe Premiere, many other ways to create them. Load those onto the SD card, 
put the SD card into the camera and then when we go to this page here we can choose any of the LUTs that we've put on the SD card. So I've got three here so I'm going to use this one here put that one into slot number one back to import slot number two I'm going to put this one here into slot number two and I'm going to use this third slot here for this one here this one you can download from Sony's website and now so if I just go import you'll see that we have the three LUTs are now loaded into the camera so now what I can do is even though I'm not in the log mode even though the camera is in custom mode I can select one of those LUTs as my base look so I'm going to use this blockbuster LUT here and select that and now what's happened is my is the camera is using the LUT as its base look so instead of using a Cinetone now we're using that blockbuster look as the camera's base LUT and you can even see on the right hand side of the viewfinder it says block B so it tells you what it's using and this is what we record in custom mode and of course the thing is that when we're in custom mode that we can change the ISO or the, the gain in DB if that's what you're using white balance and everything else all works as it would in any other custom mode so this is a very much a hybrid of what you would have in log and cine iron baking the LUT but it's in custom mode so you can change the gain you can change the ISO you can fiddle around with your white balance and do all of those things but you can have your own custom creative looks and it gets even better because if we go back into the menu we can actually change the look in the camera because the matrix settings here now these are fairly complicated to understand completely the matrix settings are applied to the base look so if I turn the user matrix on and I go here to the matrix level if I turn this up the saturation increases I think you should be able to see it it's the the the, the, the look now is becoming very very intense and in fact the girls are almost turning orange if I go the other way and we turn this way way down you'll see we'll have much much less color so we can adjust the saturation and we can also then use the matrix controls if we wanted to to alter the phase which will give you a sort of a hue type change so we can change the hue a little bit um, it's, it's a kind of a core setting that one or we can go into the actual matrix settings themselves and actually adjust the colors now this is a fairly uh, complicated process because the different vectors in the matrix interact with each other but you could take a base look and go in here and modify it let's just put in some some random numbers here I'm, I'm really not actually sure what this is going to do to my look let's just just do something like that and then when you turn the user matrix on and off you can see how we have modified that base look so we have this ability to load a LUT into the camera in custom mode use that LUT as the base setting our base look then we can use the matrix to adjust it we also of course because we're in custom mode can also if we go in here we can adjust the black level so if we wanted to bring the blacks down we could bring the blacks much lower or we could raise the blacks if we want a slightly less contrasty more milky look to the shadows we have all the usual settings that you would expect to find in any other camera but applied to the LUT we can use multi-matrix uh, as an example multi-matrix multi is really good so if I go into multi-matrix here and choose a, an axis um, so let's try B minus increase the saturation of that and we should perhaps see the sky saturation changing yeah so there we've, we've just picked that blue of the sky using the multi matrix and by changing that we've changed that that individual hue 
We can also change our detail settings so we can make the picture softer and sharper and all of those things. So being able to do all of this in custom mode is absolutely amazing, fantastic, really exciting feature of the FX6. And it means that people that are shooting news or stuff where it's going to go direct to air can create a custom look in the camera. It also gives you a way with a very carefully crafted LUT to ensure that it's broadcast safe and things like that that stays in gamut. And it really does allow you to be very creative about the images that you get directly out of the camera with the FX6.